Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss all about how we can create a drag and drop using HTML, CSS, and also JavaScript. So let's look at the project that we're going to create it. I'm going to move the image next one box, next one, and where I will uh, display the image inside the box. I can do that, right? As you can see. So let's look at that how we can create this. So I go to my code editor. Here I have a and extra html style.css script.js so let's uh, work on that i'll create a container inside the container i will create empty class inside the empty i will create a field class and also i'll use the attribute draggable tree means inside this one div have anything else i can drag and drop that after that i will create empty and i'm going to use times by three uh, but i need to use dot empty times by three Right, so we're gonna create a more than four boxes the first one inside the first one have a fill class and have another classes with empty names so we need to go on the style.css in the style.css i need to fix the few things the first one is padding zero margin zero this is a reset properties and box sizing after that I'm gonna select my body and I want to display the content in the center so I need to use display flags align it in center justify content center and I'm gonna use hide 100 vh power of the law heading and also I'll use the background light gray after that I'm gonna select my container in the container I need to use display grid and grid template column repeat for 1fr yeah it's perfect after that I need to select the empty class in the empty class I need to use height 150 uh, pixel and width also 150 pixel I will use margin to make a space of each box I'm going to use 10 uh, pixel right and then and then I'm going to use the border solid uh, 3 pixel black and I'm going to use background is white border radius I will use 10 pixel then I need to select the fill inside that I need to add the background image URL image then I need to use hide one 45 pixel with 145 pixel and cursor is a pointer pointer uh, what are radius I have is 7 pixel so let's create another class hold so in the hold I have this border 4 pixel solid and the white color also I have border radius 5 now 10 pixel is best and then I need to make another classes first we're gonna create a hover 4 pixel border 4 pixel solid and the color is white and also this border um, the border color is uh, um, I just use border Border color hash three 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 and border style dashed like that. So, and finally, I need to select the media, then it will move the small screen size. Max width 768 pixel. I'm gonna add that and select the container there. In the container div, I will use display. I just use grid template column repeat to whenever. So and yeah, it's perfect. So open the browser. But I need to open the uh, go live. Then you will get all of the things right now. Same thing, right? So let's move on the CSS. No, we need to move on the JS, right? Cool. So in the JS. So I need to get the in a minute. I need to get the const fill element. I need to get the element from our HTML document. The first one is a fill. 
that have an image. Then the next one is a const empty empties element document dot query select all because I have a many classes with the name of empty like first one second and so on so far so I'm gonna select the empty right after that I will create many functions but before creating a function add list loss now so I select the fill element dot add MLS now first one is the drag start event so I will run the function I will create by the way this one function on the next one is tag and this is the event name and I will run the function like tag and so first of all I will create a functions that are help us to do the few things inside our web page means move the first one image first box to second one box and change the background color change the border color so I can do that with the help of functions inside the JS so let's do this I'm gonna create a function drag start value brackets or oh, I'm gonna use just first we're gonna see what happened drag start So our first one function then I'm gonna get that and then the next one is the drag and function so this will be and and get that that will uh, drag over over function this will be over get that and and drag enter and get that drag over drag enter and drag leave but I need to use small d right this well is drag leave and finally I need to create a drag and draw so this is a drag drop one. so we need to save it and what happened when I open my browser and console uh, drag start is another function line number seven uh, drag start like this one okay here's my mistake drag start so here's the my mistake guys it is very important to manage so, so yeah perfect so I have uh, called the functions two functions when I will use the fill element what is the fill element fill elements is a div that have a uh, content inside they have a content so let's do the so I'm gonna drag start this is my first one function has been working then I drop it my second one function is working right means our both functions drag start and drag and are working I've used the event on both of the functions but we need to add another functions event using JS so how we can do that so we need to create a for loop so let's do that for const t of we need to select my empties element and inside that I need to add different type of event with the help of empty object or variable add all this now the first one is drag over this is the event name and after that I need to target my drag over function the next one is I need to target drag enter and I'm gonna call my function drag enter when the particular event is used then my particular function will execute right so yeah drag enter and this will take leave so when it will use so I'm gonna call in the take leave function and last and final one is drop when it will execute then I'm gonna run the function first one save and 
please focus on my console. I'm going to drag it, drag the start, drag over, drag over, and I move on the particular box. I'm able to see the drag drop. When I hit that, drag leave, drag ends means my all functions working perfectly with the help of add event listener. Cool. So let's look at that how we can drag the image first box to another box. So you need to select the drag the start function inside that you need to select this means you need to select the particular div the class name and you need to use the just a minute concatenation sign a kill sign and you need to add the class name is whole right first we're gonna see it and Uh, in a minute as you can see the whole class has been applied when I will move it first we're going to refresh it and you can't see the default Howard uh, I mean hold class when I move on it and as you can see my hold class has been applied once you assign that then the next thing is you need to remove the image from one box means when I move this one image, then I want to remove this one image from first one box. So what I need to do on there, I need to use this dot class name, and I'm gonna add the invisible. Select so that, and I can't see the image inside the first one box, so I'm able to see the invisible class has been applied on there. But we need to fix that, so I'm gonna use set timeout set timeout execute that when this will execute and i'm going to assign the time to reserve so i think it should be working perfectly so yeah i can't see the image inside the box when i will go to uh, means dig and drop with another side outer side of the box so as you can see perfect the next one is drag uh, drag drop so that one so i'm gonna select the this class name so i want to move the first one box image and assign to another box so i'm gonna assign the class the first one is before assigning that i'm gonna use this dot append and i'm gonna use fill element so uh just a minute uh i'm gonna open that so let's move that I can't see the moving image first box to another box but I need to check the classes that I have assigned that invisible is applied uh, yeah so so let's fix the issue the issue is very simple you need to select drag enter inside that you need to pass the e parameter and after that you need to use e dot prevent default function and also you can use same thing with take over get that based on there and you need to pass that i think we will able to see the image will moving on next one box so yeah but uh in a minute and last thing we need to add that guys we need to add select the drag end because we're gonna move the first one image with another so i need to use this and you must be use the e dot print default inside the drag enter and take me. but before using that in a minute first you need to select this dot class name and fill that so let's move that as you can see I can't move the image with another box but when you will yes save and look at that right so the drag over and drag enter have uh, important things is you need to use e dot default so yeah it's perfect but few things i'm gonna add that this dot class name is empty when i will move the image so, so let's look at that 
right and I need to go on top of my fill drag enter in the drag enter I will assign the class and it's concatenation all right so sir right <laughs> but I think something is wrong inside the Howard so I need to select the Howard um, border uh, uh, I'm gonna change that to background red just a learning purpose what happened empty Howard but I need to yeah I have a mistake, I need to make a space. Right, cool, cool. Right guys, so this is a but I need to lay that. So and right then move it. But why I'm able to see the whole word uh drag enter. In the tag enter in a minute. Um, just a minute, guys. Right. But also, I will change. I think. Uh, forward. Everything is cool on there, so I go to style.css and the Howard. I will use the background is also. Uh, so, so zero, so right. But after that, after however that, I'm gonna leave the class. So drag enter, drag leave. So I think I will use this one class. So, yeah. Yeah, it's perfect right now as you can see. Right, so yeah, and we did that. So, right now guys, everything is working perfectly on there guys. So this is all about how you can create HTML, CSS and also JavaScript project like a drag and drop. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.